today's topic that we're going to be hitting on, which I'm extremely excited. I'm honored to be on here with two different companies that we have built partnerships or at least working relationships with. And we have spent a lot of time together. We've gotten to know each other. And we're here with exercise.com. We got Joel and Robert from exercise.com. And we are on the same path in the desire to help gym owners and fitness professionals reach more people, change more lives and stack more cash. And so we have a lot of alignment there. They've done an incredible job at exercise.com to create some incredible solutions for gym owners, as well as for fitness professionals just around the world. So we've been developing a relationship with uh, Joel, Robert, and also Joel, the CEO. They're incredible. They were the ones actually to introduce us to Tax Taker. And so we have Ari, we have um, we have Austin on the call, and they're going to be walking through the ERC program and how this works and how you can see if you are able to apply for this and qualify for this. So I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the ERC, to the employee retention credits. And there's a lot of people that think it's a scam. There's a lot of people that think that it's not real, that there's a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunications around it. And I've even gotten this from individuals that own larger businesses. And they're like, is this for real? Like, is this a real thing? A lot of reach outs from people. I know for myself, when I first heard about it, it was something that I was very, very skeptical about. And so after meeting with y'all and spending the time with y'all to understand what this is, it's an absolutely incredible opportunity. So for those of you that are on the call, those of you that are, are watching this recording, please, I just urge you as gym owners um, to take this seriously, because if you are eligible, this is something that is out there for all of you to be able to take advantage of. If it's eligible, you qualify for this and please go through with it because this is something that there is money on the table for you that is being set aside and you have the opportunity to capture that money and be able to use it in ways that you can reinvest in your business with your employees and be able to help grow so that ultimately you can reach more people, change more lives and ultimately put more money in your bank account. And that's what we're all about here at Gym Lunch. I wanted to go over a couple things real quick as we get started. So as people funnel in, just want to say thank you so much for joining this. For those of you that are watching the recording, really appreciate it. We are not going to waste anybody's time tonight. We're going to hop right into this in just a second. A couple things that I wanted to hit real quick as we go into it. Those of you that were here, quick intro. We're here with exercise.com and tax taker. Exercise.com is a leader in the space when it comes to uh, CRMs and, and tech solutions for fitness professionals and gym owners. Tax takers, they are experts and they are leaders in the space of a lot of different things. But specifically for tonight, we're talking about ERC and the employee retention tax credits. I want to talk a little bit about how this relationship started because I think it's really important to understand this. We take partnerships and bringing people to the gym launch community as well as to the gym industry very seriously. And we spend a lot of time vetting people that we develop partnerships with or working relationships with. And we have had the opportunity to vet tax takers, spend time with them, talk to them, look through their process. And we are 100% confident in what they're able to bring to the table. And we are so excited to bring this to everyone here on this call. Those of you that are watching the recording, you'll be able to have access to all this stuff as well. And so we're super excited excited for tonight and to be able to do this. Again, I can't understate the importance of this. If you qualify, you should 100% go through with this. This is an incredible opportunity for you. There's literally thousands of dollars just sitting there that you should ultimately be able to take and utilize within your business. On a second thing, I do want to say this. We here at Gym Launch receive nothing from this. I just want to be very clear on that. Um, we have worked with TaxTaker. They were nice enough. We negotiated on your behalf the lowest rates in the industry for their services. And they were fortunate enough to be totally cool with that, which is, again, a shout out to them. They simply want to help gym owners around the United States to be able to obviously take advantage of this if they qualify. And we receive no kickbacks on that. We receive, there's nothing on that. We simply want to bring a ton of value to gym owners. And this is our way of being able to bring something that we believe is extremely important to the gym industry. We just want to say thank you to Tax Taker for doing that. We really appreciate that. And more importantly, also on the exercise.com, thank you so much for developing the relationship and introducing this and bringing this to our attention. This is incredible. This is something that we're super excited to do. And before I hand it off, I do want to say one thing. Those of you that are on this call, and those of you that are watching the recording, you will have the ability to receive a course as a thank you for taking your time on a busy Wednesday and for watching this recording. We never want to take your attention and your time lightly. And we always want to say thank you. So what we've done is we've created a brand new course called 30 Minute Ads, which we have compiled all the best practices that we've learned over the past six years, running ads and spending over $5 million of our own ad spend, let alone the management of our clients um, advertising spend. And this course that we've created will walk you through A to Z on a exactly how to create highly profitable winning advertising campaigns on Facebook and Instagram for fitness professionals and gym owners. This is not just a broad ads course. This is designed specifically for fitness professionals. 
And historically here at Gym Launch, we have a 32 to one ROI on our ad spend. And so we know how to run highly profitable ads. Our clients know how to run highly profitable ads because we teach them and we run them for them. And as a freebie, we just wanted to say thank you. Everyone will get access via email to the email that you use to register for this by tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. Pacific. So if you don't get that email, check your spam, check that first. And if not, you can reach out to us, support at gymwatch.com and we'll have that. But I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to pass it off to Joel, let you kind of walk through what exercise.com is, and then you can introduce tax taker as well. Thanks, Kale. We're fired up to be part of this. I want to start with just a couple of thank yous. Tax taker, Ari and Austin, thank you so much for just being part of this. Thank you for taking time to host this and to just share experience, knowledge, and all that with, with the communities that we've brought here. So we're, I'm super excited that you guys are here and grateful that you guys spent time to do so. Guys over at Gym Launch, Kale and your team, Paul and Amy, made it so easy for this to come off or for this to go off from an infrastructure standpoint the Zoom, the, the signups, the landing pages. Grateful for you guys taking care of that. Really appreciate you guys there. And then all of you guys that are attending, we don't take it lightly either. I got two young boys as well. This is maybe time after hours away from your, your family, from your kids. You guys are probably have plenty of work to do that you could do as well. So we intend this to be a value to you. I appreciate everyone joining so that they can hopefully benefit from this as well. And I'm just going to echo everything Kale said. I'm not going to reiterate it. I'm just going to just endorse what he said. A little bit about exercise.com. Our mission is to make fitness businesses happy and successful through software. That's why we exist. We serve only the fitness industry. And that is kind of who we are in a nutshell. Great alignment with the folks at Tax Taker, as well as Jim Launch's Kale referenced with a couple just, you know, budding relationships and alignments that we have started and, and are continuing to solidify. Like Kale mentioned, as a, as a thank you for everyone being here, we're also going to be able to offer uh, our friends and family discount to everyone that is in attendance here. Me or my team will reach out to you in the next 24, 48 hours about with, you know, exclusive offering, maybe see if there's some alignment there for you and your software needs. More than anything, we want Tax Taker to be the star of the show tonight, and, and they're the ones that are bringing the most value tonight. So again, thank you everyone for being here. Thank you for everyone that has helped get us here and that will get us here to, to this, the finish line. But I'm grateful for Ari and Austin. I will be quiet as well and look forward to uh, hearing from you guys and and uh, hopefully learning some more and, and taking a lot away here. Yeah, thanks, Joel. I appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen if that's okay. Yeah. And while he's doing that, just want to echo what everyone has said today. Thank you. We do not take this opportunity lightly. We know you have a lot of places to be. You guys are busy see gym owners. And so we are so excited that you're here today to learn about a really, really incredible opportunity. So thank you to Gym Launch and exercise.com for making this available to everyone here and post event as a recording. We really value the relationships that you have with these incredible brands. So just want to, you know, by setting the stage, just again, thank you for your time tonight. And uh, hopefully we can fill your pockets with a bunch of money afterwards. So Austin, how about you go ahead and kick things off and I'll just let you drive as well. So we don't have to interrupt, you know, awesome. changing um, controls. Cool. Let's do it. All right. So just a quick kind of a agenda of what we're going to cover uh, during our time with you today. Um, we're going to introduce ourselves, give you a little introduction about Tax Taker. Then we want to dive deep into the employee retention credit. I'm going to go over a quick overview of what it is, who qualifies, talk about something called the recovery startup provision, and then go into how it all works. And then we'll leave some time for Q&A at the end. So if you have any questions as we go along, feel free to drop them in the chat and we'll make sure to answer them at the end. We're going to keep this pretty simple pretty high level. And then hopefully by the end of this, you'll come away with a good foundational understanding of the employee retention credit and how it can benefit your, your gym or your fitness business. Quickly, who is Tax Taker? Well, we're a team of engineers, tax nerds, operators who really are, we're passionate about making government tax incentives as absolutely simple as possible and putting more money back in the pockets of small businesses. And on the call today, we have our fearless leader, Ari Salafia, who we spoke earlier, and myself. I run part partnerships and I get to lead the charge on building and creating relationships with awesome organizations like Gym Launch and Exercise.com. All right, now to the good part. So if your gym or fitness business was affected by COVID, you can get up to $7,000 per quarter per employee under the Employee Retention Credit Program. And of course, we're going to go into more detail about how it all works and how you might 
qualify. So what is the employee retention credit? Well, in a nutshell, it's part of the COVID relief package, and it's a fully refundable tax credit meant to reward businesses for keeping folks on payroll during the crazy chaotic times during the pandemic. It covers 2020 and 2021. Most people have no idea that this incentive exists and are potentially leaving tens of thousands or even more on the table. Continuing on here, the original window for ERC, employee retention credit, actually closed in September of last year, but the government noticed that businesses weren't really taking full advantage of the program, so they extended it. So it's going to be here until October 2024. You'll be able to claim it through October 2024. And it's also important to note that it applies to qualified wages paid during any quarter when the business had to suspend operations. And we'll go into more about who qualifies and how you can qualify in the next slide, actually. And I'm going to hand it over to Ari, who's going to go into more detail about that. Yeah, absolutely. And and uh, I can guess that most of us did not get into business thinking about our taxes, let alone our accounting and no sweat there. But at the end of the day, why would we be searching for some of these programs unless we knew about them or someone told them about it? So the government realized they had laid out some framework and they were like, you know what? More businesses need to be taking advantage of it. We're seeing restaurants take advantage of it. We think gyms should be number two, right? Of, of claimants, but really businesses all over the country with as little as one employee are going to qualify. So we're going to break it down on exactly how that works. There's really three ways that your fitness and gym business can qualify. Number one, did you have to partially or fully suspend operations? Probably, right? Did you have some type of government order in place where, you know, you were deemed an essential business and that impacted your business? That's the number one way that you can qualify. The second way is under a revenue reduction kind of rule. So what that means is we have to look at what your income was prior to the pandemic and measure the drop in revenue. If you're able to demonstrate a 50% drop in any quarter in 2020 compared to the prior year when you were in operations, you qualify for that quarter. Or in 2021, let's say it took a while to bounce back. You had a drop of just 20% compared to that year before the pandemic hit, you qualify. So the revenue reduction rule got a little bit easier to meet in 2021 versus 2020. The government said, hey, we've realized these businesses weren't able to bounce back as quickly as we thought they were. And so in 2021, not only are we going to make it a little bit less of a, of a drop in revenue to qualify, we're actually going to give you more money per employee. So we'll go over what that looks like. But just kind of thinking ahead, if you're like, what does that mean quarter to quarter, year over year? We're going to make it super simple for you. If you think you had a revenue drop, we're going to have a form that you can quickly kind of fill out and we'll take a look on your behalf. We don't expect you to have to do any math here today, but we're just going to kind of talk about like high level numbers. So the third provision, this is the biggest provision that actually gets missed in this entire program across every industry we've worked with. It's called the new business or new trade of business rule. So if you started a gym, if you were just a total renegade into the bravest person ever to start a business during the pandemic after February 15, 2020, you automatically get Q3 and Q4 of 2021. So if you had anyone on payroll in 2021 and you started a new business after February 15th, 2020, you automatically, no questions asked, get that if your revenues were under a million dollars. But we're going to talk a little bit more about the, the startup provision here in a minute, because there's this really small piece of legislation that's two words that people miss, and that's called the new trade. How is the credit calculated? In 2020, a company regardless of which quarters you qualify for, you're going to get up to $5,000 per employee. So just think if you paid anyone more than $5,000 in 2020, you're likely going to be able to get, get that back on that employee. In 2021, the government again was like, businesses need more relief. Just kind of like how there was PPP1 and PPP2 kind of chances. 2021 is that second chance for companies to get even more money. And if you got this in 2020, you can still get it in 2021 as well. So the maximum a company can get for each employee, if they were to qualify in 2020 and the three quarters cap in 2021, though that $26,000 per employee, this is no 
joke. We are seeing these refund checks come in every single week for our clients across the entire country. So again, if you think that there's a chance that you had a revenue reduction or you know you had a revenue reduction, you had to seize operations and can show some documentation on that, or you started a new business in 2020 or later, could be 2021 as well. You have to take a look at this because there could be a ton of money. Just think, multiply up to $26,000 per person, what that could look like. Every dollar counts. But what's really important to note here is because this is a payroll tax refund, you have to have W-2 salary employees. And I know the gym industry has a lot of 1099s. It's just something that works for gyms. Unfortunately, that won't qualify. It's got to be the folks that you've got on W-2 salary payroll. We can also include some employer-sponsored healthcare costs. So here's an example case. Let's say you had five employees in, in 2021 and you're paying them three, $4,000 a month. You're going to get $7,000 per quarter for each quarter that qualifies. So if you continue to have a revenue drop through the first few quarters of 2021, you're going to get $21,000 on each one. But let's just say just one quarter, five employees multiplied by $7,000. That's 35 grand that's going to be coming back to your, your pocket. No small change whatsoever. Here's this recovery startup provision. So this one's really, really cool. To be eligible for the recovery startup provision and why this is especially pertinent for your industry is that if your business was doing less than a million dollars in the last few years and you started that new business or new trade of business, you qualify. So what is a new trade? A new trade could be a lot of, could look like a lot of things in your industry, right? You could have had to completely shift your go-to-market strategies, your marketing strategies. You might have had to take your business completely virtual. You might've had to invest in different tools and tactics, like working with gym launch and exercise.com. They were able to propel businesses forward during these really, really hard times. Maybe you had to hire new types of employees or resources that looked totally different from your brick and mortar shop that could qualify as a new trade of business. So definitely encourage you to have a conversation about what that looks like with us. And we'll get to this later, but just looking at if you qualify won't cost you a dime. So we just want to make sure that we turn over every stone to make sure that there's going to be dollars back in your pocket because what do you really have to lose, right? So for the recovery startup provision, you heard me earlier say on a revenue reduction, you could get it for a few quarters. You can get 26000 per employee. That's 5,000 in 2020 and 21,000 in 2021. And that's because legislation made a, a, an adjustment. They said, if you're under revenue reduction or government partial suspension or full suspension, you can get up 2020 or three quarters in 2021. But the startup provision, you automatically get Q3 and Q4. So two quarters. So you can't claim both, can't claim revenue reduction and startup provision. So we would also take a look at what's going to max you out. So this recovery startup startup provision just as a, a couple last points is it caps out at a hundred grand. We've seen those checks come in. It's incredible. It's real money for these new businesses. And so you really only have to have six, seven employees to hit that cap. So recent success stories, we've saved companies, even solo companies over a million dollars, but we wanted to highlight two recent gym stories because I don't know about you, but like $7,000 is still a lot of money. So it was $14,000. So we helped impact performance through the exercise.com network and Atlantic sports performance. They just recently qualified for $7,000 and $14,000. So our physical fitness studios, as well as baseball training, strength training operations. They were stoked. We were so stoked to help and we're only getting started with more fitness businesses. Exercise.com has been just phenomenal in bringing this to their clients' attention. And so we just wanted to highlight two really recent ones because while your business might might qualify for upwards of a hundred thousand, maybe even a million, depending on what your staff looks like. Even the small, small amounts, they, they matter. You went through a lot the last couple of years. So what's the documentation look like? So a lot of you might be really familiar with kind of the painful process of PPP. It was confusing. You were trying to call your banker. You were trying to go on bankofamerica.com, bankofamerica.com to see it, like if you could get, even apply. It was really stressful. The really great thing about this employer retirement 
retention credit is you just get to talk to us. It's amazing. We keep it super simple, super easy, but you just have to be prepared to provide a few pieces of information so that we can perform an actual analysis and submit refunds on your behalf with the IRS. So what do we need? We're going to have to look at your payroll report. So depending on which payroll provider you have, you just have to go into your admin dashboard and download a payroll export. What that really means is a detailed payroll report that we can look at the pay periods and or the check dates. Then we're also going to have to look at your income. If we're going to be qualifying you under the revenue reduction, we've got to look at your quarterly income statement. So that's going to be if you're on QuickBooks or any kind of cloud accounting platform, it's a really easy report to pull and we can also help show you where and how to do that. Again, depending on which payroll provider you have might be in the same place as your payroll export, we're going to have to look at where you filed your 941s because we're going to have to make corrections there and submit an amended 941 on your behalf. And then if you're under the government shutdown provision, we're going to have to look at copies of those stay-at-home orders, whether it's from your local, regional, state authorities, because that's going to back up your claim. So that one's a little bit more subjective and looks differently across companies just because companies were in different regions across the United States, but payroll, their 941s and um, their income are going to be consistently what we're going to need to do our analysis. How it works. So we have a really easy free preliminary questionnaire to see if you're eligible. Austin's going to drop that in the chat. We'll make sure that goes out in the show notes post event. We've got a dedicated landing page with gym launch and exercise. So we'll make it super easy for you to fill out a form. We'll follow up with you if we know black or white you qualify, or we'll hop on a quick call to make sure we're we're covering all of our basis and really maximizing your estimate. If you say, sure, yes, I'd like some free money, which we hope you do, we just have to pull those few pieces of documentation from your end, and then it's completely on us. We do all the service from A to Z, and we make sure these get fired off to the IRS on your behalf and they go in for processing for refunds. The worst thing about this program is the wait times. So there is some urgency here. The sooner you get this in with us, the sooner we get it in with the IRS and you get your money and it's mailbox money. Unsurprisingly, the IRS is really quick to take your money. They're a little bit slower to give it back. We have to actually physically mail in your your request for a refund. They won't do it through e-file. They're going to physically mail you a check in the mail. So the IRS right now is saying it could take up to 10 months. We're seeing a lot shorter wait times, but we are big on managing expectations. We always want to under promise and over deliver. A lot of our clients though are getting their refunds in 60, 90 days. And we have some that have taken upwards of six months. That's the only area with the IRS that it's a bit of the, a black box, depending on which area you are in the United States. There's a couple of different IRS processing centers. We're able to call on your behalf to check on status. Those are fun wait times with the IRS. But rest assured, if it's going in for processing, you're you're going to be getting your money back. But again, we laugh about this. You really have to check your mailbox and make sure you tell us what, what your new address is if, if you've moved, because we have seen a couple of misplaced checks over the year. What does this timeline look like? It is fast. The form is easy to fill out. It's understandable. We'll follow up with you. We'll make sure that we're putting an estimate right in front of you. Then if you say, yes, let's let's go, let's get these refunds. We're going to prepare everything on your behalf. We're going to finalize the calculations. We're going to amend your forms. We're going to send those into the IRS. The IRS is going to process this. And and by the way, that takes like a week time max. We're really fast. We're really thankful for for exercise.com and and Jim Launch for tapping us on the shoulder because I know they looked looked and have heard about other folks. There's some other bad actors in the space, like like every tax program, you know, folks like to, to kind of get greedy and they take forever. They're taking 30 to 60 days to process claims. We're taking like a few days. It's really fast with us. And so yeah, the IRS processes money and you get that check. And here's the cool thing. Unlike PPP, where forgiveness applications weren't the worst thing, they weren't that difficult to fill out, but they were sort of pain in the butt, right? And you had to kind of do a couple of them and you had to fill all this banking information. The IRS has no application. They process your check. It's 
done. It's your money. You go and spend it on whatever we want. You want build your business. You earned it. You had to weather the storm. It's your money. We just want you to get every dollar that you're due. Just like that. We're in the Q and A. I love it. All right. If you want, I can just read them off as we go. Let's go. Let's fire them off. I'm All right, ready. Sweet. So appreciate everyone with the questions. Keep bringing them um, as you go. So LWC asked, if you receive this for 2020, can you still apply for 2021? Yes. If you got ERC in 2020, let's take a look and analyze 2021 to see if there's more money. Keith said, I bought my gym four months before the shutdown in 2020, before everything got shut down. So four months prior. So all I have is those four months to compare to. Can I still qualify? Yes. If you didn't have uh, that history for 2019, we can compare 2021 to 2020. And I'd also like to have a first their conversation with you, Keith, specifically, because when you're right around the cusp of, of the shutdown, you might also be a good applicant for the recovery startup provision as well. By the way, for everyone, if you're wondering about the free assessment form, it is dropped in there. Austin dropped the link in there. It's info.taxtaker.com slash gym launch. Kasim asked, you may end up covering this later in the presentation, but what if employees are paid using PPP money for a portion of 2021? Are those quarters eligible for ERC? Great question. This actually should have been in the presentation. Yes, you can still get it. We do have to factor PPP amounts into the calculation, but we're still seeing a majority of claimants still get uh, ERC in addition to PPP. So you can get both. And sometimes it has no impact on the ERC, just depending on when you used your PPP money. So yes, if you went for PPP, there's a strong chance you're going to get a healthy amount of ERC back. Do not let that deter you. Great question. Storm had a question and um, this may be hard to answer without further information, but Storm asked if your business totally shut down in 2021, started new business build out in fall of 2021 and opened doors in 2022. I'm assuming still asking if eligible. Yeah. So we would have to learn more like, if there were any employees still paid in 2021. And, and to that end as well, if you had employees in 2020 and 2021 that you don't have anymore in 2022, you still paid for those employees and you can still get those refunds for those for those folks. That's still your money. There's no rule that says that you have to still have those employees. So it was about retaining them in that time period. So would probably need to learn a little bit more from Storm, but if you were still paying some folks, there's a chance. But if it's just operations in 2022, um, it, it, it wouldn't be a fit. Sounds worth the conversation at least. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Kat, I will answer this for everyone. Yes. So everyone will be receiving a recording of this. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to edit any ends, cut the ends off, make sure it's nice and clean. We're going to put this on YouTube and we'll send it out to everyone. And when you guys have this, we'll email it out to everyone. It will live on YouTube free for everyone. We'll have the links for the free assessment from tax taker, as well as the link to be able to get access to the ads course on there as well. So that will live on there on the YouTube. Anonymous attendee for the recovery startup provision, does having to relocate your business qualify you for this in terms of new trade? You know what? It very much could. If you had to invest in different assets, whether that be brick or mortar, new employees, new strategies, likely yes. So let's take a look. Let's talk more about that. What type of documentation for being shut down? We didn't receive any documentation. We just were not deemed essential. Sure. So we would have to look at exactly where your headquarters is, and we would have to pull government-related memorandums from your area. A little bit of a research project, but perfectly doable. What if you already have an accountant? Do we need to go through them? I'm going to go ahead and say something before you say something real quick. If your accountant has not already brought this up to you and made this front of mind for you, then your accountant, no offense to your accountant, but your accountant's not doing their job. So my suggestion would be is if they have not already brought this to your attention, I wouldn't go through them. I would go through the experts. That is up to you. Um, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if your accountant is not out there fighting for you to receive this, then I would work with the people that are. Yeah. And just to echo that, we always like to prop up our accountant community because that's how we drive a lot of business because the fact of the matter is accountants aren't experts in everything, right? So they just aren't qualified to be experts in every section of every piece of legislation for all of our clients. But we agree they should be bringing this to your attention 
attention, even if they aren't the experts in it. But the good news is you don't have to fire them. You can still work with us. We could get you the money and you can continue to work with your existing accountant for everything else that you already do. So we work and play really nicely in the sandbox with any accountant that you already have. Definitely work with us if they haven't brought it up to you. So is adding Prestige, which is um, our supplement business, Prestige Labs, as something else, adding Prestige Labs and nutrition coaching considered a new venture? Gray area. Yeah, would want to kind of talk further about that to see if they invested, you know, significant resources into those product time. Did they reallocate certain employees for those product lines? My gut check is probably let's continue to talk. Really, everything's on the table here. That is a grayer area, but the IRS has come out and said, like, if you can say yes to a few of a few things around, is it truly different from what you were doing kind of before? for then likely yes for your fee because obviously you're not doing this for free which you should not because y'all spend a ton of time with the documentation and following through after our conversation it's a lot of time like a lot of time going through all these things um, and your services obviously should be well taken care of do you pay do the gym owners pay up front or is it a percentage or is it a fee of whatever they receive yeah, absolutely. So thank you for valuing our, our work. We don't completely work for free. However, we will totally provide a free analysis for you. We would never want to take a dime from you if you don't qualify. We make our money later downstream. So we're putting, you know, skin in the game. We're putting our our, our name out there, our time on your behalf. So we're going to take a percentage when you actually get your refund. But we are going to ask for a small amount up front once we do determine that you qualify just to get everything going because we really want to work with serious companies that want this money back. I think we negotiated, right? Just a couple hundred dollars up yeah, front was- just to make sure that that goes through 250. By then we're, we're, we know that you're going to be getting 7,000 to $100,000 or more back. Jim Launch did a really great job Exercise.com did a really great job negotiating on oil's behalf. So lowest in the industry, 12 and a half percent when you actually get the money, but that deposit's going to go towards that percentage when you, when you get the check in the mail from the IRS. Because this is going to live on YouTube, I'm going to be very upfront with everyone. If you're watching this recording, those rates may not apply to you in the future. So I just want to be very clear. If you want that move now because those rates we negotiate on behalf for this. So in the future, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're sitting here thinking, "Ah, I'll think about it down the road, those will not be still live in the future. So just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there just in case. Yeah, this is a crazy great rate that this community has negotiated um, on your behalf on because we see folks out there that are that are charging their entire fee up front, even a third of what companies get back. So we're just so excited to bring this to this community's attention. And we just want you to get your money sooner than everyone else. This is at minimum a 33% discount compared to every other company in the industry, just as a heads up for y'all. Again, very thankful for this. Who should file this for me? my accountant and I'll let you answer it, but I'll just say y'all will file it for them. So yep, we will. We've got it all covered for you. We're going to ask for a counter signature on your form so that the IRS knows you still own your business. <laughs> uh, but other than that, yep, we're doing all the paperwork for you. If I opened a second location right before the shutdown, would I qualify? How would the income be compared? So that's probably going to fall under the new, new provision rule because maybe you open, but you never even really had true operations. So that might fall under maybe the business really did start after after February. Let's talk further. Do they have to be full-time 40 hours a week employees or any W-2 employees? Any W-2. Great question. Great question. LWC, we're not going to go back over the percentage simply because this is a recording. So the percentage is very, very low. I just don't want to publicly put it out there and set expectations for people in the future that simply will not be able to achieve those. So when you reach out to them, they'll obviously let you know exactly what it's going to be. So I just filled out the questionnaire. Should I be waiting for the assessment through email? Yes. And kudos to you. We're stoked to look at that form. Austin's chomping on the bill already. (laughs) So yeah, you'll get a notification with us from us by tomorrow for next steps. Fantastic. Awesome. Sorry, Austin. Thank you so much. This is absolutely. Thank you guys. This was so much fun. Really appreciate it. Love it. Style style here. Well, cool. This is awesome. Joel, again, thank you so much for creating this introduction, creating this relationship. We're super thankful for everyone. To everyone that attended, just want to say thank you very much. The recording, as soon as we get this uploaded into YouTube, we'll be sending it out on our side as well as I know XC 
freeenterprise.com and then tax taker as well. So this will live there. The links for the free assessment will live on the YouTube description as well. When you'll have that, so you'll be able to go back, watch this, um, send this to other gym owners that you know, like let them know this is not a zero sum game. This is open for everyone. And if they qualify, you should send this out to everyone, be a good friend and share it. That's my only request. If you got value of this and this is something that you qualify, my only request to you guys, because we make nothing from this. My only request is that you just share it with other people and other gym owners so that you can help them be able to ultimately get some cash back into their bank account. Because frankly, gym owners were hit almost the hardest out of anyone. And frankly, they were deemed unessential or not essential. And they should have been, which they should have stayed essential, which we all know. Just want to say thank you to everyone again. Joel, if you have anything that you want to finish with, go for it, man. You good. All right. I'm sweet. good, man. Thank you. Kill. We'll let everyone uh, end Gym it. owners rule. Yes, they do. <laughs> Hashtag gym owners rule. We appreciate all of y'all and we'll send that out as soon as we have it ready. Uh, y'all have an amazing night and we appreciate everyone. See you guys. Thanks everyone.